I am a hat maker who makes handmade hats from scratch. I use a technique that dates back over 100 years uh, called blocking, uh, where I take wool and straw and other materials and mold it over wood to make handmade custom hats. Well, I started uh, my career actually as a fashion designer. Uh, that's what my degree is in. I received it from the Art Institute of Colorado. And I thought I was going to be a costume designer for the rest of my life. And uh, in fact, moved to Chicago to pursue that as well after that. And I then met a milliner from New York and had no idea that millinery still existed as a career. And she'd been in business for about 35 years and had taught me or told me to go learn the um, basics of blocking and so I did and since I already knew how to hand sew it just came natural and completely switched gears and I've been doing it about seven years. I've actually always loved hats since I was a little girl. I used to play dress up with my grandmother's hats all the time and even in college uh, when I was in fashion design I would make hats. I had no idea what I was doing. Uh, but I would make them to go with my collections, and I just always loved hats. And as soon as I started learning how to block, I knew this is what I was meant to do. So that's my great-grandmother, and I've never met her, uh, but I was told um, actually not that long ago that she was a milliner herself. Uh, my father was at a family reunion, and someone had asked how I was doing in my career, and. They're like, you know that Grandma Betty was a milliner, don't you? <laughs> and nobody knew in my family. And so I put that, that, you know, next to my sewing desk to just for inspiration and sending good millinery vibes my way. <laughs> so it's pretty much in your blood. It is. It's, it runs in my blood. I didn't even know it. <laughs> I moved here from Chicago. Um, I had lived in Chicago for about 16 years, but had been coming to Kentucky the last five years to do uh, custom hats for Derby. And fell in love with the town the last five years and just with the people and just amazed on the support that this town provides small businesses blew me away, very different from a big city. And thought, you know what, when our house sells in Chicago, we really need to consider moving here and sure enough, right before Derby, <laughs> you know, perfect timing, I guess. But, you know, we sold our house and we decided to pack up and move here and, and make the leap and I've loved it ever since. Forme millinery, uh, Forme, first of all, is French for formed. And I named my company that because I do more, I just, I form material. That's um, primarily what I'm known for is just forming and making creations and sculptures for the head. But Forme Millinery is a company that provides an experience for my clients. For custom yes. hat made, mm -hmm. looking for winter, for a special occasion, for a cocktail hat. Probably something for the winter. Okay, it really takes them back to a time where you can go and have this interaction and really intimate experience with the tailor, dressmaker, or, or a milliner, and really have something created just for you. You are a 22. You know, I you meet with customers, I measure their heads, we pick out the color straw or wool and embellishments that they would like, and, and I make a hat just for them, and they really enjoy that process. So it will kind of look like that. To create a hat, it's about a four-day process. I have to wet and steam the material, mold it over the wood, uh, then it has to dry. And then once that's completed, I hand sew the crown and brim together and finish it with the wiring and sweatband and, and then of course the embellishments. So uh, wool tends to take a little bit longer to dry than straw, so it's about three or four days. Well, quite a few things influence me as a designer, like vintage photos, cobblestone roads. Um, I definitely uh, love the old classic style, um, but you know, even just plants and you know greenery, um, just how the different abstract shapes um, they can create are great inspirations for me. Recently, uh, Barbara Corkin from Shark Tank wanted me to make her a shark-themed hat. 
I actually took this silk abaca and kind of formed this abstract water wave. And then I took feathers and I curved them into a shark fin and, and kind of put them in between the waters. She loved it. And so she says she's gonna wear it on the show. We'll see. <laughs> I want my clients to feel transformed when they put on my hats. It is the best feeling in the world when someone puts on my hat for the first time after I've made it just for them and they stand a little taller and smile a little bigger. And the testimonials I get when people go out in my hats and they write me and tell me, you know, I had people looking at me who haven't looked at me in years and I felt beautiful again for the first time in years and people opened doors for me. and. The owner of a restaurant came and told me how much I brightened up his restaurant because I was wearing a hat. And so little things like that makes it all worth it. <laughs>